गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडेज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द यूनिट टू रेयरिंग ऑफ द बीज दैट इज द मेथड्स ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ द हनी जनरली फ्रॉम एंसियंट टाइम इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द एपीकल्चर अप टू द रिसेंट मेथड्स जनरली टू मेथड्स विच आर यूज टू हार्वेस्ट द हनी दैट इज द इंडिजिनस मेथड एंड द मॉडर्न मेथड्स द हनी एक्सट्रैक्शन इज द सेंट्रल प्रोसेस इन द बी कीपिंग विच रिमूव द हनी फ्रॉम द हनी कोम इन द प्योर लिक्विड फॉर्म वी नो अबाउट दैट फ्रेंड्स इन द हनी हनी कोम द हनी विच इज स्टोर्ड इन द हनी रीजन विच इज लोकेटेड जस्ट अबाउ द ब्रूड चेंबर इन द वुडन हाइज just above the brood chamber the honey or the super chamber is present where the honey which is stored generally the honey which is harvested in the late summer where that super chamber which is completely filled with the honey the worker bees then sealed with the help of the bees wax and that honey basically we say is that the pure honey there are two types of the honey extraction methods are used generally indigenous and the modern methods first of all most toward the indigenous method this is the traditional method of extraction of the honey as well as the beeswax which is the crude and unsuitable as well as the unhygienic method first of all most toward the crush and the drain method this method is useful for the natural natural combs without artificial support for the honey extraction the peoples use the burning fire just brought near the natural comb at the night the honey comb which is full of the honey which is then removed by the people cut into the small pieces they squeezed with the help of the hands to get the honey however the hands also contaminated the honey the unripe honey which ferments within a few days after the extraction the neem and the coconut honeys which are ferment more quickly as the honey produced from the other plants here the next method is the fire and the drain here the combs including the brood unripe and the ripe honey which is stored in that honey comb which are collected during the night all they put on a wire mesh and a container is put just below the comb the fire begins to consume the comb and honey and the wax trickle down into the container until the all the combs which are completely consumed by the fire that material which is collected is left untouched until the next morning and during morning the people that collect the bucket which is observed that the beeswax which is hardened at the top of the honey the beeswax just removed and the honey which releases and pour into the bottles here now the main disadvantages of that indigenous method due to burning fire near the hive the complete colony which is vanish even though the bees are either killed or escape from that area the colony becomes weak due to killing of the eggs as well as the larval forms which are present in that region at the time of the squeezing the honey loses nutritional value as well as the quality when exposed to high temperatures that is a burning fire the smoky fire also employed which is a full of the ashes charcoals dust gravels which contaminate the honey decline the quality of the honey and the honey which taste bitter as well as the smoky the brood combs also add the water to the honey during squeezing all a complete comb which is squeezed and water content which is present in the brood chamber which also mix in the what in the honey and such type of the honey cannot be stored for long and which has the no any international market 
Now, move toward the modern method. After the indigenous method, first of all, move toward the crush and the drain method. This method is used for the collection of the honey from the wooden hive or the that artificial hives. For applying this method, we have a bucket with a dispenser spout, a two-stage sieve that sits over the bucket, a knife and a potato masher or the crusher. By using the knife, remove the honeycomb from the frames, cut into the small pieces in a container, use the potato masher to crush the comb pieces to release the honey from the wax. Then pour the crushed material on the sieve place over the clean and dried bucket. As per the time and the gravity, all the honey which is percolate and store into the bucket. Now, move toward the disadvantages of this method. We know about that friends. The honeycomb which is the invaluable resource for the bees here. It takes much more time for the synthesis and the construction of the combs here. And for this purpose, the around 10 times of the energy which is used to create and construction of the comb as compared to the honey production. After that, the next method which is very popular in the apiary industry that is a centrifugal ex extraction. That centrifugal extraction method which is widely used by the commercial beekeepers. This form of the extraction is closely associated with vertical hives and are normally furnished with the frames here. First of all, removes all the capping of the combs by using the uncapping knife. All the decap frames then fix into the slots which are provided in the box or the honey extractor and further that which is rotated by the handle or by a motor. After that, the pure honey which comes out from the cells by the action of the centrifugal force and then can be collected into the vessels through the exit in the drum. That centrifugal extraction method which has a certain advantages. As the honey extractor which is used in this method which doesn't cause any damage on a honeycomb. As the honeycomb after removing the honey it returned to the hive the honeybees efficiently repair the, all the honey cells of that honeycomb. It means that there is no any time wastage to create the new honeycomb for the storing of the honeys here. Hence, that method which is very important and applicable in the apiary industry. This is the next modern method of the honey extraction that is the flow frames here which is very popular and is a revolutionary beehive invention which allows to harvest the honey without any opening the hive and with a minimal disturbance to the bees also. That flow frames which consist of the plastic honeycomb lattice where the honey bees which fills the vertical gaps which are observed in that image with the beeswax and in that cells store the honey. The flow frames which consist of the vertical gaps which are connected one to another in a channelized patterns due to which the honey which collected into the collection vessels. As the honeycombs which are full of the rife honey, the mechanism of the frames which is activated which are parallelly arranged in that box and due to which the vertical gaps is moves toward the balance to that of the cells. This breaks the wax seals and allows the honey to flow down toward the frames and after that which is collected into the vessels. 
certain advantages of that flow frames. Here the base normally shows no sign of disturbance as well as no NAB which is harm during handling. Clean honey can be produced by this technology and there is no any filtration which is used in the previous methods of the extraction also. This technology is saving the time, labor, space, mess and no any disturbance to the bees also. There is no any requirement of the expensive extraction equipments. Even though there is no any certain process for the extraction method which is used in the previous methods also. Hence that flow frame technology nowadays which is very popular for the extraction of the honey. Dear friends, here to be completed the extraction methods in the form of the indigenous and the modern method in the apparel industry. Thank you, thank you very much.